ladies and gentlemen, for a long time, we mocked the idea of Jade Helm on this program. Mm. We were one of the first, probably, to mock early the idea of Jade Helm. We were early adopters. We thought the idea that the federal government would take over Utah, California, and Texas was a joke. We even thought the idea that they had to take over Texas Utah and California was a joke because we thought that they were the federal government and that they'd have no purpose in doing so. However, I recently had the opportunity to listen to a talk between Louis Gohmert and a reporter from the Christian Broadcast Network about Jade Helm. And even though Gohmert is basically signaling the stand down here, He's still giving us the straight dope. When news of the operation broke, the phones inside Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert's office lit up. At first, people were not sure what to think. Positive. Do we have to worry about... <laughs> now, here is where I think the CBN reporter drops the ball, because everyone knows that Obama has a phone light-up machine <laughs> to distract congressmen who are trying to protect their districts from a federal incursion. Go back just a second and then play. Lit up. At first, people were not sure what to think. Do we have to worry about martial law? Is, is our federal government coming in and going to practice imposing martial law on Texas? A former Army captain, Gomert says he understands the need for training, yet it bothers him that as part of the exercise, the military is labeling Texas, Utah, and Southern California as hostile. This is actually taking areas of our home country, the United States, and saying Texas is hostile, Utah is hostile, Southern California is hostile, and we got to take it back from the hostiles. I find that incredibly offensive. And he thinks it's no coincidence that the Jade Helm 15 map looks an awful lot like the 2012 political map. So-called hostile states are colored red. The suspicion surrounding Jade Helm 15 is fueled by the fact that a vast majority of Americans simply don't trust the government. A level of mistrust that has peaked under the Obama administration, driven by what many believe to be violations of the Constitution and civil liberties. Despite conspiracy theories, Congressman Gohmert isn't worried that the U.S. military is going to issue martial law. But he's not happy with the president. When my own commander-in-chief through his subordinates is just fine with, for games purposes, declaring an enemy of two or more of your states. I've got a real problem with that. That is one of the most insensitive, outrageous things that a military commander could do. Um, uh, it's okay if you uh, do just one state is the enemy but to, to it's just everybody in texas was weepy they were like we're the enemy oh my god that's just so insensitive he's not the commander in insensitivity he's the commander in chief he should start acting like it i'm just just so beside myself they're uh, very similar to the 2012 map except for the whole california thing so incredibly offensive. It's just so <laughs> offensive. I can't even begin to imagine what was on the mind of those commanders, those military commanders. They were trying to do a war game. Why does anybody have to be the enemy? How about we make love, <laughs> not war? I would like to see the U.S. military actually try and mount Texas <laughs> and make sweet, sweet love to Texas. Okay? That's what we should be doing. I would like to invite President Obama to come to Texas, to my district, to make love to my district. To just strip off his clothes, lie down on the ground, and make love to my district. Make love, not war. Caress the rocks in my district slowly 
can't do that impression. Texas is a beautiful state. <laughs> and she just wants to be held. Yeah, she just wants to be deflowered. Y'all hear about the yellow rose of Texas? Just deflower it. <laughs> if you will give me fast track authority, I will, in fa- I will have sex with Texas. <laughs> 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 I'll make it happen. Unbelievable. <laughs>